Good day YouTubers. I'm just making a quick video to show you what I'm building. Uh, my PID controller. So the SSR relays that I've got in here is a SSR 100DA. So that means it's uh, DC to AC. So as you can see it's 3, three to 30, 32 volts DC input. That comes from the PID. And then that's going to be my output. It's going to run to my socket, which is 24 volts AC to 380 volt AC. I'm using the 100 amp ones, so they can take a fair bit of load. Uh, then I've got a little heat sink underneath it, so it's attached to the heat sink. And I've got a little cooling fan. Let's see, that's the fan there. And there on the side. Uh, this is the power supply for it so it's 2 220 volt in and 12 volt out it's only a 5 watt power supply and as you can see um, these little things in here the top one will be for the top probe the bottom one, one will be for the bottom probe and all of these um, I'll show you how they look like so I got a little male pin in the center. As you can see that. And then obviously you got your positive and your negative for your probe. And this is basically how the, how the plug, plug looks like. And it just plugs straight in. It's got a positive, negative, red for positive, black for negative. And that just plugs straight into that little soccer there and you just push your probes um, little plug in there on the back side of it and these are what they call sockets and these sockets as you can see they New Zealand sockets same as the Chinese plugs and they actually for a generator so they're nice and flat they don't take a lot of room up inside the box as you can see then i've got this this is going to be where my main power wires is going to come in and that's how it looks at the back uh, there's the hole for the fan for the outlet that's just another breathing hole that i made so when a fan turns it can suck some air through there and over there that's where the outlet is. Um, obviously you're going to need a lot of these little spade connectors. I bought a whole box on AliExpress with a crimping tool, all different plugs, pushing terminals, spade terminals, round terminals and so on. As you can see there. Uh, then I'm using the CH102 uh, PID controllers. This top one will be for the top uh, temperature probe that will run the main uh, power to the actual element. The bottom one is just going to be an indication to see what the temperature of the boiler is at the bottom. So that's why I got this one at the bottom. So that will read the bottom temperature of my boiler. And then this is what I call an electricity meter. And it will show me the amperage, watts, um, the voltage, amp hours, temperature and all that stuff. It's a KWS. AC 300 and I'll show you now how the box looks like so this is the box of it it's AC 300 100 A and it's a closed loop uh, CT coil so the CT coil is what I use um, to read the current so that's the specs of it I don't know if you can read it. 
So it's an AC 300 100 amps. And all these things you can. Uh, so that's the one I chose was a KWS AC 300 dash 100 amps. It's AC volts 100 amps and number A I chose which is the, the closed loop coil 100 amps and like you can see it's reading the voltage the watts the degrees amps uh, time factor and power factor and kilowatt hours it reads now to come back to the PID controller this is the one I'm, I'm using currently which is a model number is a Rex CH102 the range is 0 to 400 degrees Celsius output is relay SSR gotta make sure you got one that's got a SSR output for your uh, SSR relays which is those things there it's your relay the supply power for these are 100 to 240 volts AC 50 or 60 Hertz and also bought it all on AliExpress that's just the box it came in obviously the instructions is all in Chinese so you got to work it out for yourself um, the basic um, I'll show you here so yeah I've got two PIDs and two power um, meters and also two SSR relays so the top relay will be for the top socket the bottom one will be for the bottom socket which will work the bottom of the, the stall's uh, um, temperature for the boiler uh, the top one will obviously work the top temperature probe for the top PID and SSR relay um, so I'll show you a quick I've done some bit of, of the wiring still just busy with it so this is the back side just bear with me this is the back side of it so that's your CT coil that runs through one wire only so you run your positive wire through this one that runs through uh, straight to your SSR relay the 240 volt AC power wire runs straight through the center of this uh, CT coil and that will give you your amperage it will show you how many amps is running to your um, actual element and as you can see here on the side I've got all the wires attached to it but that's basically all your wiring diagram on your PID that shows you that your number one and two is your power in negative and positive and then two and three uh, that's your um, SSR relays uh, power output on these that runs straight to your um, 12 volt it is a 12 volt DC input so that will run and that activates your SSR relay so it kicks in further you got your negative and positive wires on your electricity meter that shows you the voltage incoming voltage and then obviously your CT coil where your main power wire runs through or your positive wire or you can even use your negative wire but only use one wire don't use both wires only one wire need to run through it um, I'll put this thing all together and uh, hopefully she will be working I'm not putting a switch in as I'm gonna have a socket with a switch on it and it will just automatic just come in I have got little LED lights that I bolt in they will show me when the relay is actually active and when the power is going to the, the coils of the actual boiler 
Thanks for watching. Cheers.